Hey, this is IndigoMusic.com. I'm Rohit and it's time for yet another edition of Experience Sessions. And joining me right now is an independent artist from Mangalore. If I'm not wrong, Frizzel D'Souza, welcome. Yeah. Thank you for having me. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, from one Mangalorean to another Mangalorean, well, here's me saying hi. <laughs> I didn't know you were Mangalorean, but that's, that's very cool. I mean, not tr- technically. My dad is a Mangalorean, so he was born and brought up in okay. and out of Mangalore. So anyways, uh, let's talk about you. Uh, Prizel, when did you uh, start music and when did you feel that this is the path that you got to take? I mean, well, music has always kind of been a part of my life. It's been a hobby. Um, I went to convent schools in Mangalore. I was raised in a Catholic family, so music was always very integral part of uh, my upbringing but it was a hobby for the longest time i moved to bangalore in 2017 to study architecture and i would use music as like a way to take a break from you know the routine and um, it was only during the lockdown um the most pivotal time of my career very ironically um that i started writing original music at the insistence of like a friend who asked me how long I was going to keep covering music for yeah and i had nothing to lose so i tried writing a song and it did well so i kept at it um and it was when i graduated that uh, i thought i'd give this a shot fantastic and you've also got some accreditations from uh, the likes of parek and singh and uh, pratik kuhad tell me more about uh, your interaction with them if you have had any and uh, what went through your mind when they were praising your work the first time my music or my covers got recognized was when pratik kuhad saw and shared a cover i made of cold mess which is one of his most popular songs I wish I could leave you my love but my heart is a mess My days they begin with your name and I end with your will I wish I could leave you my love but my heart is a mess Ah uh, that was my my first proper introduction to indie music in fact Uh, mm. back in 2019 and uh, i also covered easy one lings and like a bunch of other indie artists and i started really really enjoying the fact that there was such good music coming out of the indian independent scene uh, i was totally unaware of of this before that and yeah last year i had the privilege of working with parik and sing i got to um, guest at their show I also guessed it at when chime at toast and like a lot of uh, independent artists so and they're all so friendly which is what I love uh, it's, it's a very supportive scene and yeah I'm very grateful about that fantastic now let's talk about your album it's called in my asymmetry tell me more about the album and tell me briefly about the songs that this album consists um in my asymmetry is my second ep um it just came out on July 17th alone in this apartment Pain brushes scattered all around. It was in fact uh, the label Kappa Originals that had reached out to me last year. Uh, Renjini who is their creative director, she came to me with this idea of writing about love that's non-romantic. Mm. And she said, you know, I actually want my listeners, my listeners as in Kappa's listeners to feel good and feel seen when they listen to these songs and that was kind of the brief that i received um and it was very interesting because how do you articulate love that's not romantic because it's not spoken of very often be it platonic love or you know be it the love that you have for your mother yeah um how do you put that into song how do you convey the emotion behind that and some of these are very personal experiences so how do you put them across in a way that connects with the stranger on the other side of like the globe or the internet um so it was it was a fun idea for me to take up and i ended up working with adan subramaniam uh, who produced the entire ep and one of the first things he said was look we can of course make these songs work i had of course written the songs at that point over the span of 2 months and he said we can make these songs work but let's do like a lot more than that my previous music was very acoustic Uh, I primarily write on the guitar, so it was guitar and vocal centric. And he said, "Let's just take off the guitar intro and add synths." And that was when electronica was introduced in the EP, yeah. uh, which gave the whole EP a very new sonic scape. Absolutely, we are we are excited to play the songs on air, both here in Bangalore and in Goa. 
uh, tune in. You will let's say, are you in Bangalore right now? I am in Bangalore right now. So I you can tune in and listen to your yeah. songs on radio. How cool would that be? That's awesome. <laughs> and uh, what what's uh, cooking in your studios? What's the next plan? What uh, is happening in the world of Frizzell de Souza? Ah, in the world of Frizzell de Souza. That's I love it when someone addresses me in third person. It makes me feel very important. Um, <laughs> I've actually been writing for a while. I had a lot of uh, songs that I was going to record even before this EP came to be. Um if any of my audience is listening to this and if you've watched me live, you know that there's like a lot of songs that I performed live that aren't in the EP. So um I'm getting right on to that and I'm really excited about those because I love seeing audience reactions to these songs. Um so that's happening and we're hopefully taking the EP on tour and um going to a bunch of my favorite series to perform these songs in so that's happening fantastic looking forward to that and uh, looking forward to having you in our studios soon when you release your next album or just drop by anytime you want and uh, we'll have a chat once again uh, thank you so much fizel for taking some time out and having this wonderful conversation all the best with your future endeavors and your future releases uh, we'll catch up soon thank you so much for having me on rohit pleasure talking to you all right bye bye